Hi guys! Yeah, today is a bit of a milestone. Um, when I left home, Gosford, 22nd of May, so just over two months ago, um, my target was basically to get to the Whit Sundays at least. Um, and today I think I can say I've done that. Um, so this morning I left, I decided to leave uh, Carlisle Island, Carlisle and Brampton, Twin Islands. Um, the ride last night, yeah, wasn't very pleasant. Um, a little bit too exposed. So, um, I've come the 15 or so miles across to Goldsmith, um, where I'm in a nice cove, um, gently slope, sloping beach, so a reasonable distance from the shore, but still doable. Um, and Goldsmith Island is on my map of the Whitsunday Islands. So, yeah, yay. <laughs> anyway, um, it was a short passage. I just went on jib, being lazy. No, it wasn't far, so I couldn't be bothered. Um, and I wasn't in a hurry. Uh, it was a bit choppy again, uh, with the wind behind me, which is never much fun. Um, but it leveled out um, after a while. And... Um, saw a few whales. In fact, I think one of them was actually giving birth um, in the channel. So uh, just, it was a whale, it was just going up, breathing, lying there, coming up, breathing, lying there, it wasn't actually going anywhere. So uh, yeah, that's the logical assumption to come to, I think, at this time of the year. Anyway, this is what happened today. Okay, so looking at this map here, okay, those are the, uh, Main with Sunday Islands, but I've arrived on the bottom corner. There you go, Goldsmith Island. So, uh, yeah, got a couple of island hops to do, but um, yeah, near as damn it. Yeah, sat there and pondered over breakfast and uh, decided I'm going to make a move today down to Goldsmith Island. Um, yeah, the, the night at uh, Carlisle wasn't very settled. I know it rained a few times and, you know, you can't help the weather. Um, but at the same time, it just felt a bit too exposed. A um, little bit rolly and the wind gusting around and stuff. So I'm going to go and check out Goldsmith, which looks like it's got a nice little um, haven there, if you like. Um, and see if I can get a bit of night's sleep. Just going on the jib, taking it easy. A um, little bit choppy out here, but that's still left over from yesterday, I guess. Uh, or maybe that's just how it always is. Who knows? Anyway, um, let's just plot along and uh, see what the day brings. There's Coffin Island just uh, ahead there. And um, our destination... Uh, there's a group of islands there. There'll be a channel down the middle there somewhere. And this is Fingers and Thumbs or Thumb and Fingers Islands. It looked a little bit like it when you when I was at Carlisle, but here, yeah, just looks like a bunch of rocks. So, yeah, it's uh, still a bit rolly. You can see the jibs doing the old slap there and just trying to hold it steady. There we go. <laughs> Yes, not always easy to uh, film and uh, sail. <laughs> Getting closer. Um, yeah, there's a channel up between those uh, hills, basically, which is not immediately evident at the moment. Um, but what is evidence, and you probably won't see it from this distance, but there's whales everywhere over there. Um, I can see spouts, I've seen a couple of, um, what do you call it, uh, breaching whales, so, which is amazing but scary at the same time, so I've got to go through them, um, yeah, because if they've got young obviously, uh, you want to try and give them a wide berth. Anyway, oops, holding it off there, yep, getting, getting there anyway. Starting to resolve a bit more now. Um, there is a channel between those two hills, or islands obviously, um, but this is not the channel we're looking for. Um, the channel that we're looking for is a little bit more over to the left there. <laughs> it's not always hidden by the jib, um, but yeah, we'll be going straight down there, 
and then around to the left behind uh, those hills, which uh, will be Goldsmith Island. There's a few islands in the group here, by the looks of things, but uh, yeah, it's uh, quite interesting to see it all come to life. Well, look what we got here. Now, I suspect there's actually a mother and calf. Um, one reason was that they're coming up a lot to breathe. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just saw two different size um, dorsal fins. So, yeah, because they're coming up to breathe constantly, which generally they sort of don't. Okay, going in amongst the islands now. This is Tinsmith Island, Line Island, L I W N E, and then Goldsmith. Uh, we'll be going on the other side of Goldsmith, um, which is the leeward side and away from the swell and the wind to some extent, and several of the other islands. The days turned out really nicely now. It was a bit cloudy to start with, but uh, burned off nicely. So. The sea is also a little bit more uh, well behaved now, not getting chucked about as much. Still, you can see, yeah, okay, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but yeah, making reasonably good progress just on the jib, um, getting a fairly good speed, but when we hit that channel, it'll probably slow us down because no doubt the tide will be against us. And here's looking back at Brampton and Carlisle Islands, where we came from. Um, the one on the left is Carlisle. That's a decent hill on Carlisle, actually. Um, any wonder it was hanging on to the clouds yesterday on approach from the north, uh, from the south. Sorry. Um, I also noticed it was holding on to the clouds. Um, so yeah. Going into the channel now between Line Island and Goldsmith. A oh, little beach there. Yeah, so it's quite pretty here actually, as we're getting in right and close to the land and getting a good look at what is there. Very nice. Just getting bashed about by the uh, chop at the uh, other end of the channel, just coming out of it. Um, yeah, getting a good ride down the channel. Um, there was a whale back there, I didn't get a chance to video. I'm pretty convinced it was carving because it was just lying on the surface. Breathing, going down, coming up, breathing, going down, just didn't move otherwise. So I think that could have been what was happening. So I gave that a wide berth. There we go. We're just about through. We've got some decent uh, protection around the corner with a bit of luck. We're really getting chucked around here. Now, let's see what's around the corner here. I think it's a choice of two anchorages that I can tell from the map. Um, so yeah, we'll see which one basically gives us the best options. Um, we have a color of the water though, eh? And it's like, it's, it's oh, sailing so getting carrying because the wind's dripping all over the place, of course. Um, yeah, it's about 23 meters deep here, so you can just imagine the currents that must rip through here. This formation here reminds me a bit of Hopewell Rocks in the Bay of Fundy in Canada. Um, the place where the tides are the highest in the world um, but obviously we've got a very strong flow here too and uh, yeah we're getting a similar sort of thing oh that looks pretty nice we've even got my palm trees over there sorry I'm making you seasick oh that looks pretty nice very good okay we've got one yacht here Nice big sandy beach. Let's go and check the next bay. It just seems to strike me as perhaps being a little bit more sheltered. Yeah, two distinct coves here with this point in between them. Um, this one here looks like there's a bit of wind coming through. Just watching this mast moving too. Yeah, this one looks like it'll do me. One yacht on the far side. I think it's the same yacht that was at uh, Carlisle yesterday. 
Um, yeah, there's a little island over here. I think it's uh, privately owned. Um, some sort of residence there or something. But uh, yeah, looks very nice. Thank you for watching another Fast Forward to Queensland video. As always, don't forget to like, comment on YouTube and subscribe to Dawn Radar.